All right, so this tutorial is going to cover the basics of Dreamweaver, getting us set up so we can run and generate uh, some basic HTML websites uh, for our home page here. So if we look at the way the, the first we need to go through how the uh, software is set up here, we have it's a, an Adobe Creative Suite software, but it wasn't originally. Um, so we have some things that are left over from here. We have tabs that have carried over from the newest versions of um, Adobe's Creative Suite. Um, I have a template running that I've, I've set up, but uh, here I've started a new document here. There are a couple different ways of looking at your HTML document once you get into it. Uh, you can do it strictly by HTML code. We can do it by split screen, so we can look at the uh, design and the, um, the code simultaneously. And so if I type things in, and here you can see it update itself on the other side here. Uh, this is handy. This is probably the best view uh, for what it is that uh, I think everyone will really be doing with this in that uh, there's some things in here that um, make it really easy to select objects, to modify things, to modify content uh, in the code uh, versus having to try and select through uh, the visual interface of trying and, and getting everything to coordinate. Uh, you can also, if you don't like that, you can go to uh, design only so you can start to look exactly through the design here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put this back. Um, the live version, you don't necessarily need to work, uh, worry about. Uh, you will be able to go through and test the website uh, once we actually get something in here. Okay. A couple things uh, as we go through this. Uh, we should be able to delete that. Uh, over here on the tabs, what you have here are some CSS styles. Uh, you can start to modify that and format the text and format of your document. Uh, if you guys have CSS stuff that you know how to utilize, you can plug that in. I'm not I'm uh, going to go be going through that at this point. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to add and drop some of this material. Um, in here we can also start to drop and, and organize our managing our sites uh, if, if we so choose to start to engage that. Uh, for what the applications are for the KSU students, uh, you probably won't need to uh, worry about the, that for the most part. Uh, down at the bottom we have our properties menu. Uh, we can start to look at that from HTML point of view or the CSS if we're doing text formatting. Um, but the HTML, we can start to uh, link images, we can start to adjust and modify um, the targets of those things, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you, you might have seen when this popped up, we have a menu toolbar that's correspondent to the, um, the coding version of that. You shouldn't have to really mess with any of this um, unless you get into some of the more advanced stuff. Uh, from that point on, we can start to look at the modifying uh, sort of global parameters. So under the Modify tab, we can go to Page Properties. Uh, this will enable us to start to change like, things like the background color. We hit Apply. And you can see that updates in here, but it also it starts to, you can see how that starts to update as well in the code. And so we can start to program this. Um, something you guys are going to immediately note and probably be frustrated with if you try and do this is um, that I'll just undo the color here. Uh, so this operates a lot like a Word document uh, in terms of how it starts to key in information. Um, this isn't really ideal for uh, a designer, and, uh, and that's appreciated. Uh, the way to get around that is you can drop in, uh, we insert layout objects, uh, and we can drop what's called an AP div in here. Now this is a free floating object. Um, you can type text. Uh, you can also insert images into this. Uh, so if we go to insert image, uh, we'll put on here, we'll just pick one of these guys. Hit OK. And now this guy's in here. Oop. I pulled it out of the art div box there. Uh, and just so we can go through this, um, it's trying to document the path uh, of your the file. Um, when you guys are going through this, you want to pay attention to this because the URL is going to be something that uh, is going to be initially linked to somewhere on your hard drive unless you're um, pulling it from uh, an FTP site. Um, if you aren't paying attention to this, what will happen is, is you will s upload a file that's linking to somewhere on your hard drive. Uh, and obviously, people on the web don't have access to your hard drives. So when you go to view images and things like that, um, they won't show up. And so uh, you can come in here and start to uh, figure out how that's going to work. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag that, and you can see how that's uh, started to modify here. And so now we can come in here, uh, we can start to scale this down, 
modify that, that information as we so choose. You guys can create background images, you can create those things. Um, we can turn this image, now that I've selected it, and link it. We can start to modify this, and we can put more images into the space that we so choose, and we can create all kinds of different navigation tools in here. Uh, if we decide, come in here, the source, the SRC here, uh, if we go ahead and scroll back through, you can see that this is still linking to somewhere on my hard drive. Uh, if we go into the code, you can also see that this is linking to somewhere on my hard drive. Uh, this is probably going to be an issue for many of you as you start to deal with file management. Uh, wherever it is that we're going to be doing, because we're going through and hosting through Dropbox, uh, we're going to go ahead and just delete that extension. So all we should see here is the file name as the source code and what that will do is when we're in Dropbox it'll look for the source file here this um, project 01 underscore 01 dot jpeg in the same folder that the HTML, sorry, the HTML file is located which is to say that we have one Dropbox folder that holds the entire website it'll tell it to basically look in there for those um, that information and you can see that even though this is grayed out, this is essentially okay because it's programmed with the assumption that that file is going to be there and right now it is not. Um, if we link images in here, you guys are going to be overlaying and linking larger renderings and materials in there so that uh, I can view them or that others can view them. Um, but it's the same rule. We can come in here and can here paste this. Uh, in this instance, we're going to be calling that a large so that it'll take us to uh, a separate page that actually hosts the full size image. Okay, and then in here we can also start to get into some parameters and program the dimensions of this. You'll note that that's all accessible from the code as well. Uh, code, the code, dealing with the code is really nice from that sensibility. Um, so you, what you'll end up doing as you go through this is you guys are going to design your websites graphically in here using these AP divs, locating images in them, and then go through and clean up all of those things uh, and then upload to the site. And we'll be going through that a little bit more as we move through it. Uh, but we can go ahead and save that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just save this to the desktop. I have a website already established. Um, what you're going to be saving this as is an index.html. This is the home page for your site. Um, this is an agreed upon standard um, from web developers that basically states whenever you have an index file located in the folder, that's the file name that the, the folder is going to look for, assuming that you're actually going to be hosting a web page here. So it's automatically going to look like look for this file and then upload that in the proper HTML format. If you, that file is named anything else, it will not upload properly. So that's something you guys want to pay attention to uh, as you start to negotiate some of those transitions. Okay.